black paint is gone. Sporting number 94 and a light grey, the IDR Pikes Peak will chase the record on June 24th. Two weeks before the legendary mountain race, the first fully electric racing car of the Volkswagen brand presents its final look for the first time. For pilot Romain Dumas, that's an important step. Finally, we are, let's say, on a race mode, you know. The black is over, the test car is over. Now we test for the first time today the race car, who was ready, so that's uh, very positive. And the new livery, yeah, I like it, you know. But at the end of the day, what I like the most is to win the race, so. The grey livery is the same one Volkswagen uses for its ID family. After all, the racing car is spearheading the future family of electric production cars. The number 94 stands for ID the ninth and fourth letter of the alphabet. Testing the IDR Pikes Peak on the 20-kilometer track to the summit fuses the car and its driver into a single unit. I'm getting more used to the visibility, you know, the speed. You have to readapt your style, you have no gear, you have no noise. The only kind of feeling you have is the speed, you know, and uh, that's it, with your view. And you have to get used to with all these trees, the rocks and so on. You have to find new, new mark, new bumps on the road to see where you will break, where you will turn. But at the end of the day, it's getting more and more now, let's say, we cannot say easy, but familiar. The IDR Pikes Peak really is an unusual racer. There is only one way in or out, a hatch in the roof. Volkswagen built the first fully electric racing car with one purpose in mind breaking the record for fully electric cars in the Pikes Peak race. Just under two weeks is all the time engineers have left to work out the details and improve the car for the race in the Rocky Mountains. Then it's time for the sprinter of the ID family to show what it's made of.